Who else is a fan of the Duchess of Sussex? I'm such a huge fan of her style. I want to dissect her style. I want to talk about her style and also recreate three of her recent looks with you. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome in. I do have a private Facebook community that is free to join if you are interested in becoming one of the bees in the hive. You can ask any style question that you might have, post any pictures of any outfits you have concerns or questions about, and your like-minded, positive, supportive, Community of women will answer your questions. It's a really lovely, lovely group in there. So hope you will join us and become a bee. Today, I wanted to share three of Meghan Markle's recent looks and also just recreate them with pieces I have in my very own closet. And the reason I wanted to do this is twofold. One, I'm obsessed with Meghan Markle and her style. Two, I wanted to really drive the point home that you can recreate outfit ideas from wherever you glean inspiration. Whether it's a celebrity, royalty, or somebody like me, an influencer, wherever you find that inspiration, just grab the photo and recreate the outfit. It's really very simple. Before we dive into the looks, I just wanna talk a little bit about Meghan Markle's style and what I love about it. So she really does wear these classic, clean, minimal, modern pieces, well-tailored, beautifully draped and fitted to her body. Also, there is this effortlessness about her style that I really appreciate and love. It's never too fussy, never too buttoned up. There's an ease about it, and, and that's right down to her hair and makeup as well. Very minimal hair, minimal makeup. She always lets that beautiful skin shine through with the freckles. She wears flats all the time, and I love that. She's so sensible and practical and functional, and her outfit and her look just has this ease about it. And I think that's really admirable, especially considering she has access to whatever designer, whatever she wants to wear. There's not a lot of fuss or muss. She's really just very effortless chic in her looks. Okay, so let's start with look number one. It's an all brown monochromatic look. She wore a silky brown midi skirt with a chocolatey brown turtleneck and some brown pumps. I love that she chose these brown tones. It's so chic, it's so soft and feminine and pretty and beautiful, but also very simple to recreate. So I wanted to show you my version of this outfit using pieces I have in my closet. My interpretation of her look is a pair of silky brown bucket waist pants. These are by Amanda Uprichard. I love these pants. I really love chocolate browns right now. I feel like they look so soft and feminine and they're not as harsh as black, although I'm wearing black right now, I love black, but I do love the browns as well. So I've got on the bucket waist high rise pants with a Valentino belt. This belt is a reversible, one side's black, one side's brown. It restocked and then it sold out. It restocked and then it sold out again. So I'll let you guys know when it restocks again, but it sells out like in a hot minute. So if you see it, Grab it. With this belt, by the way, I bought a size 85, which is too big for my natural waist, but what I did was I just hole punched in a couple of extra holes, and that way I can wear it as a hipster or a waist belt. On top, I am wearing the matching Amanda Uprichard silky brown top. And I wore this recently to a conference that I went to out in California for female entrepreneurs called BizChicks Live. I was a little bit unhappy with the outfit because the keyhole was exposing my camisole, which was white, and I felt like it broke up the line. I didn't like that little peep of white in the keyhole. So what I did this time was I just reversed the top. I wore the front and the back and the back and the front. And I really like the way this looks a lot better. You're probably not gonna have like a matching brown silk outfit in your closet, but you can also play around with like camel sweaters. If you have a camel sweater, you could do a cream sweater. You could recreate this concept. It doesn't have to be exact. And then on my feet, I don't have a pair of brown pumps, interestingly enough, so I opted for this sensible heel Sam Edelman black pump. It's about a three inch heel, two and a half inch heel. So these are probably the most comfortable pumps that I have. 
with the most manageable heel. These lower heels are kind of hard to come by. So if you work in an office, this would be the kind of heel that you would want to have definitely in your wardrobe. But again, I can easily wear just a brown sweater. Like here's an example of a camel v-neck sweater from Everlane. That's a very thin sweater, so I can still tuck it into the bucket waist pants. I could even try a brown blazer. This one is by Veronica Beard. It's leather, it's gorgeous, I love it. That really does change the whole look, but it's still the same concept of wearing brown from head to toe, which is what Megan's look is. I love this look. I love monochromatic period, but with the all brown, just so unexpected, chic, lovely, modern, and I just love it. Look number two really makes me happy. I love that Meghan Markle wore pretty much my uniform. She wore just a pair of mother jeans that are mid-rise, skinnies, mild distressing with a white button down shirt. There are two things I want you to notice about her styling of the white button down shirt. They are things that I have talked about in my styling tips video. Remember that video, five styling tips no one tells you about? I talked extensively about the cuffing of the shirt and the half tuck and stuff like that. This is exactly what she's doing. So she's cuffed the sleeves and she's done the French tuck tucked in the front, not tucked in the back. That creates that effortlessness I was talking about in the beginning, that ease, that casual vibe, you know, it doesn't look so fussy. And I love that. I love that she styled her white button down like that. And then she has a shopper tote in a really yummy cognac color. This one looks just like the one by Madewell or Everlane. And on her feet, a pair of brown flats. I love that she also wears flats. It's just so practical and functional. So I don't actually have a pair of chocolate brown flats and I swapped out the flats for my leopard print pointed toe flats by Sam Edelman. I don't have these exact mother jeans, so I swapped out the mother jeans for a pair of mousy vintage jeans, also slightly distressed and mid-rise. And then on the top, I'm not wearing the same button down that she is. Mine is by Frank and Eileen. I have a camisole underneath, and my bag is really oversized cognac bag by Vince Camuto, has a cross body strap and as, as well as top handle straps. And then she finished off the look with some really cute pair of tortoise shell sunglasses. And so I busted out my square frame tortoise shell sunglasses from Nordstrom that I love so much. Not the exact same shape as hers, but there again, if you're gleaning inspiration from somebody else, like Meghan Markle and I don't have the same face shape, we don't have the same body, like you have to make adjustments and changes for your body and your face and what your comfort level is. But you can see how easy it is to recreate concepts that you see online. You can go to Pinterest, Google Images, whomever you find that you really connect with in terms of style, go and just create a folder on your computer of that person's looks that you really love and go back and recreate them. In my private Facebook group called The Hive, there are a lot of bees in The Hive that are actually taking pictures from Pinterest and then recreating the outfit. And it's just so awesome. I'm so happy that they're doing that. Go to Pinterest, get that inspiration. And for sure, you can recreate that concept with the pieces you have in your very own closet. The last look I wanted to recreate is something I just absolutely love. It's totally my jam as well. It's this look with the black turtleneck, the white blazer, it's actually a white pinstripe blazer, black skinny jeans. She has on black aquazora pumps and a black and white striped crossbody bag. So obviously I don't have all of those exact pieces. I'm wearing a black ribbed turtleneck, very lightweight, very thin by Astra the Label. Over that, an older Veronica Beard blazer that is both black and white with some really standout gold buttons. Instead of just plain black skinny jeans, I wanted to add a little edge to the look, so I opted for the coated skinny jeans. These are petite length from White House Black Market in a high rise. I love these jeans so much. And then on my feet, just a pair of plain, black Jimmy Choo Romy pumps, which are very chic and elegant as well, but just don't have that little detail that Megan's does. And then the bag is a black and white striped bag by Stoud that weighs almost nothing, it's light as a feather, and it just really gives the whole look a little bit of punch. So which of your three is your favorite? Number one, 
number two, or number three, you have to share with us in the comments below. Share whose style you think is really inspirational or aspirational or whose style you emulate. Don't forget about The Hive if you wanna join and ask style questions or post your very own Pinterest challenge picture. We would love to have you. There's a link below in the description box. I will put links to some suggestions for these outfits below. So if it is something you wanna recreate and you don't already have those pieces in your closet, you can go down in the description box and there'll be time codes by the looks as well as links to suggested pieces if you're interested in finding something that's similar comparable. Another reason why I wanted to do this video is because I want you to understand that you really should think first about what you have in your closet and working with what you have. You don't have to have the exact same pieces to create a very similar look. You can use pieces you have in your very own closet or pieces you get at a thrift store or pieces you find on your own in whatever budget works for you. Really recreating concepts is what you wanna do and really tailoring the outfit ideas and that inspiration so that it fits and flatters your body. That is such a key. Please let me know what you thought about this video, this concept. It's a new concept for me. I really had fun with it. I really enjoy it, but I wanna know what you think about it. Should we do more? That's what I wanna know. Whose style do you want me to recreate? Please share that in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.